Johnny. Tim. Welcome back from Maui. What did you have? Just 10 days of prone foil surfing? 10 days. 10 oh, days straight. God, that's good. Checking out the CFs and the, still riding the 925. Well, guess what, John? We got a gift in the mail. Innovation? I like to think that we're pretty smart. Not really. We hear it from other people. This idea was brought to us from Blee, uh, Brian Lee out of Maui. He connected me with this guy by the name of Jim Stringfellow down in, uh, he's a gorge rider. I think he lives in Vancouver, Washington. I called up Jim and I said, Jim, give me what you gave Blee. Now, I think you probably know by now our favorite foil to ride. We ride a lot of different things, but our favorite foil uh, is the uh, Armstrong foil. And we really enjoy ride and lift and unifoil and everything else, but we we have a substantial quiver of Armstrong foils. Now this right here is our favorite e-foil, lift. This is the 4-2 Sport. You'll notice that we still have the shroud on here just because we do demos and let people ride it. The number one way to pimp your glide and loosen up this ride, get more uh, longer length of time on the board, is to take this shroud on and put the cone kit on. But that's not what the enhancement we're here to talk about today, Johnny. We are here to talk about how we take this Lift 4-2 Sport Performance and attach our full Armstrong quiver to it to allow us to ride those foils. What do you think, Johnny? Well, I think it's a great idea. Rumor has it that Stringfellow is a good fellow. <laughs> and he's a, he's a craftsman. And so he has the ability to make parts and uh, optimize stuff for foilers. Just a couple days ago, I was out in the water with Blee and it was the code red swell of the decade over in Maui. I mean, it's the best swell, south swell over there for like 20 years, right? It was good. It was scary, but it was good. And uh, Blee was towing Chase in, a place called Mysteries. Solid overhead surf, and Blee was ripping on his e-foil with the Armstrong wing. We called Blee, and we're like, Blee, what is, what is the Armstrong configuration of note that is the first one that we gotta try on here? And so we got that, and that is the HS1050. He actually has the HS232 V2 tail that he has chopped down to be about just inside, outside of the chop line. So it's not quite all the way chop, chop down, but in between. I tell you, string fellow, that good fellow, knows how to use his tape. I'm having a hard time getting this thing undone, Johnny. It's packaged well. It is. Ugh. All right, Johnny, Jim String fellow, that good fellow. This is what he has sent us. Look at this, oh my gosh. It looks fantastic. It is the, the combination, it's if an Armstrong fuselage had a baby with a lift connection point, that's gonna go on right there. Look at the workmanship. Look at this mold they brought this thing out of. It's pretty good, he even sent us with the Armstrong screws. That was a nice touch. And then we have the, uh, he sent the screws to, to connect, looks like the tail onto the back, so. Yeah, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our lift. Uh, for our 4.2 Sport, by the way, we've been really enjoying riding the uh, 150 Wave. We'll take the, the lift uh, wing, and you know, for lift, they don't make a separate fuselage. It's just a little wing piece. We realize, <laughs> for all you people out there watching this video, and it's probably like five of you <laughs> who have a lift foil and an Armstrong uh, quiver, so it may not a, a <laughs> may not mean that much to many of you, but it's just something you gotta try. If you have the Armstrong and you have the lift foil, this is a way you can optimize your lift for a little bit different feel. The ride with this, with the lift, we like the HA150 on the front, 32 on the back, it's nice and loose. And so we're gonna get a different feel with this Armstrong. You can see how it's just one piece here, right? That's how Lyft does theirs. And so to get the adapter for the Armstrong, you see the front of the Armstrong fuse, typical front right up here, and then taper back and we'll see if uh, Jim Stringfellow got this right. We hand tighten, you know, and then after we ride, we'll test it, kind of just make sure it hasn't gotten looser. 
Ah, there we go. Nice, Johnny. We need it to deliver a blow. All right, per Blee's recommendation, we're gonna go with the HS 1050. Thank you, Blee, for being out there and testing this for us first. Okay. And now for tail, we got a couple choices, Johnny. This tail that I got in Oahu from a designer there. It's kind of, it's pretty flat, straight across. I have the HA-195, and then I have the 232, not chopped. I'm kind of thinking 232, not chopped. Let's go for and it. And we'll see how it goes, and then maybe we step down to this or the 195. We'll probably have to play around with shims a little bit, but we're gonna start with Blee's recommendation to go with the one degree shim, which is the red shim. Now for Blee, he took his and he chopped it right about just on the outside of this chop shop. So Army and the team down in New Zealand, did you ever expect to see this? Look at that, baby. It's the Electric Army. The Electric Army. <laughs> you know, sounds like a new uh, K-pop group. The Electric <laughs> Army. It does. I gotta tell you, I think there will come a day where between these different manufacturers, we can pull different parts and put them together, you know, as we see fit to match our, our desired riding style. Tony, what's your initial impression? Awesome, loose, feels good like an Armstrong should. With the nice power and balance of the lift. Yeah. A beautiful combination. Let's go get all our other foils, 725, 925. Right I say on. we put them all through the paces, but this is solid, this is great. Phew. Stringfellow did good work. Way to go, Jim Stringfellow, thank you. Johnny. Yeah. I got to tell you, brother, the world of foiling just took a step forward. Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to go out there and throw an Armstrong onto the bottom of their lift foil, because those lift foils, they're good too. But if you're an Armstrong guy and you want an E-foil, look no further than the lift. And then a connection from Jim Stringfellow. And by the way, we sell these things. If you ever want an E-foil, we'll help you out. Just use that code right there, get 250 bucks off. Give us a call, we'll help dial you in. Whether it's this Frankenstein thing with an Armstrong or if it's just lift, we got you, brother. I like it. Let's get all our other wings. Let's try this thing out. All right, brother. Johnny, I gotta say, that was a ton of fun. This worked fantastic. It's so nice to be able to put your own personal uh, touch on how you like to ride, you know? Yeah, solid manufacturing, but it's nice to ride our favorite Armstrong foils. Yeah, on, on the e lift, foil. on an e-foil, it's really yeah. fun. You know, we love the, the, the lift the 150 surf with that 32, 38 tail, and but just being able to spice it up a little bit, throw this on there, uh, I, I give it a high grade, a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. Definitely worth checking out for whatever sub-segment of the market has both the lift foil and Armstrong foils. In conclusion, Tim, these foils rode good like an Armstrong should, but at the same time, they were mellow because the fuse was forged by Stringfellow. <laughs> <laughs> Stringfellow, Jim, thanks so much. Hopefully we meet you when we're down the gorge sometime. Uh, this, this combined setup is a heck of a lot of fun. We're gonna keep swinging at, uh, changing out these front wings from the HS 1050 CF 1200. We're gonna try our HA wings on the front. We expect to have a, a jolly good time. Awesome. Later.